Hiya, so this is the factor theorem and polynomial division. It's the second lesson in the algebraic fractions. I'm going to do it over two little videos because they're quite large uh, examples later on. Right, so it says that, remember last year, you could see if it was a factor, if when you put a value in, you got zero out. Well, that's the same here now, because we had like x plus 4s and things like that, so you put in minus 4. But now, if it was 3x plus 2, I need to be able to rearrange it. So what I've done, I've put that equal to 0, and then I've just took the b over and divided 3 by a. So that's where that comes from. But if it's equal to 0, it means the y value is equal to 0, and it's on the axes. So if I look at this, I want to look at f of minus a third. So if I put minus a third in, I've got three lots of minus a third cubed, minus two lots of minus a third squared, minus 37 lots of minus a third, minus 12. If you work that out, just put it in your calc, you get zero out. We need to put a statement. So as f of minus a third is equal to zero, therefore 3x plus 1 oops, is a factor. There, that's the first example. I hope that made sense. Example 2 says, um, given that 2x plus 1 is a factor, find k. So I know that f of minus a half is going to be 0 if 2x plus 1 is a factor. I'm going to use that fact to help me. So if I replace the x's with minus a half and put it equal to 0, I should be able to rearrange. So I've got 2 lots of minus a half squared plus 7 lots of minus a half. Sorry, that was a cubed, isn't it? Squared plus k lots of minus a half minus 6. That's equal to 0. Right, let's have a look at this first term then. So minus a half cubed is minus an eighth times by 2 is minus a quarter. The next one's going to be a plus 7 over 4, then minus k over 2, minus 6 is 0. Uh, if I add all those together, it gives me minus 9 over 2. So minus 9 over 2 minus k over 2 is equal to 0. If I take that over, minus 9 over 2 is k over 2, so k must be minus 9 there. There we go. All right, let's have a look. So last year as well, we divided by long division. Uh, we tried the little boxy thing, and also um, we did the comparing coefficients. I think comparing coefficients is the easiest, but just to be painful, I'm going to do long division. So let's have a look. So 2x minus 3 gets divided into 8x cubed. Now please be careful. What's missing there is a 0x squared. So we need a 0x squared in there. Minus 24x plus 9k. Are you ready? So how many times does 2x go into 8x cubed? That's 4x squared. 4x squared times by the factor. So 4x squared times by 2x minus 3 is 8x cubed minus 12x squared. If I do top take bottom, 8x cubed take 8x cubed is nothing. Uh, no lots of x squared minus a minus 12 lots of x squared gives me a plus 12 lots of x squared. Please be careful with the signs. Bring down the minus 24x. Next. So how many times does 2x go into 12x squared? So plus 6x. 6x times by 2x minus 3 is 12x squared minus 18x. Top take bottom, the 12x squareds disappear. Minus 24x minus a minus 18x leaves me minus 6x. Bring down the 9. How many times does 2x go into minus 6x? Is minus 3 times. Minus 3 times by the bracket, the 2x minus 3, is minus 6x add 9. Top take bottom leaves me 0. I've got nothing else to bring down. So my remainder 
is zero and it perfectly fits in. 2x minus 3 is a factor. Now I like to, oops, oh, come on, it's not doing it. I like to write it a slightly different way. There. So my 8x cubed minus 24x add 9 is the same as 2x minus 3 times by the 4x squared plus 6x minus 3. And I have a remainder of 0, so that's perfect, that. Now this helps me because I know my remainder is 0 and my quotient is this part here. 4x squared plus 6x minus 3. And that's the first example done. Right, let's have a look at this second example. Right, so I'm dividing by x plus 2. So 2x cubed, 3x squared, 4x and a 23. Right, how many times does x go into 2x squared? Uh, cubed, sorry, is 2x squared. 2x squared times that gives me 2x cubed plus 4x squared. Top take bottom, so minus 3x squared minus a positive 4x squared is minus 7x squared. Please be careful. There. Then how many times does x go into minus 7x squared is minus 7x times. So I've got minus 7x squared minus 14x. Top take bottom, minus 4x minus a minus 14x leaves me a 10x, a positive 10x. Then bring down a plus 23. Uh, how many times does x go into 10x? Is plus 10. Then I've got 10x. Add 20. Take them away. It leaves me a 3. I've got nothing else to bring down. So that must be the remainder. So if I write it out, uh, 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x add 23 is the same as x plus 2, the divisor, 2x cubed minus 7x plus 10, the quotient, and now, because it doesn't fit in like the last one, I've got a remainder of 3. So my remainder is 3. And my quotient is 2x cubed. Where's that come from? It's a squared there. There you go. Minus 7x add 10 there. So that's that first page on page 5 for lesson 2. I'm going to stop there and then we'll do the next page separately.